Hi everybody, I'm here with my new Dell Inspiron 15R. I will be doing a complete review of my new laptop. And I hope you enjoy. Alright, just to give you some outside stuff. Over here you have about four indicator lights. The one that is blinking right now is the power button, or power light. It also indicates when it's flashing, it indicates that uh, it is in sleep mode. There is a hard drive, a battery, like a plug-in when it's charging, and a Wi-Fi when the Wi-Fi is on. Over on the left side, you have three, three USB ports, uh, two of which are 3.0s and one is 2.0. You have your basic Ethernet port and an HDMI port. You have your fan and you have your charging port. In the front, you have the SD card. I'm not so sure if you can really see that. You have the SD card. You have the two speakers. Yes, it has two. And then on the bottom, you just have like the battery, the little Windows 8 sign. On the other side, you have another USB 2.0, so there's two 2.0s and two 3.0s. Right here, there is the optical drive, which is also like a CD drive. It is optional, and you have to buy it, like, you have to add it when you buy it off of the Dell website. I was pretty bummed. I thought that I bought it with the CD-ROM, but I guess I didn't. Just give me a second here, guys. When you open it up, it should turn right on. Usually it turns right on. That's just my lock screen. It features a trackpad with two buttons. It has the Windows key. Oh yeah, this is running on Windows 8.1, by the way. If you buy it off the Dell website, it will have a Dell. It has a chiclet, a full chiclet keyboard with the numpad. It has the lock screen, the ba I have the basic Windows 8.1 lock screen. It does have an Intel Celeron dual core processor. And let's get started, guys. Tap any key to start. I'm just going to type in my password here. And usually it goes right into things, but it's being slow right now, and I don't know why. So I already downloaded a few things. I have Microsoft like Office. Uh, I have a Parking Mania game. And then here, oh, my desktop is being used right now. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, and then this is how you X out of apps, if you're wondering. It's just how you do it. And this is what will happen if you click the start button that will go to the desktop if your desktop is not open but this is your desktop this is the default background I already downloaded iTunes, Google Chrome, eBay um, comes preloaded I had to install uh, Amazon because I didn't need it so it has a webcam when turned on a light will pop up the webcam is not that good, honestly. I do not like it at all. It is kind of bad, as you can kind of tell a little bit. Um, sorry about that. Don't know what that is. Uh, it comes preloaded with a trial of McAfee Central, a uh, few apps. And then go here, you can see all this was preloaded onto my laptop. Like a lot of this was already preloaded. So if you get the home edition, it does come with a lot of things preloaded on it. Now, one thing I do not like about this computer is if you close it, it takes about a few minutes for it to go into, well, a few seconds for it to go into sleep mode. And then say you see another light except for the power button blinking, it means that it did not go into sleep mode. If you open it up again, 
it will not turn on and then it like kind of screws everything up. I would say that this computer has a matte texture. Uh, you can see the little Dell over there. It does feel good. It feels sturdy, very sturdy. One complaint, it does get very dirty very quickly. I just cleaned it. I had it for about a few days and it did get very dirty, but uh, nothing that these can't help. I just got these from the dollar store, so, and they worked completely fine, so. Uh, again, you have your Windows 8 thing on the bottom, a few fans down there. You have like your serial number and stuff, the battery. And yeah, guys, if you want a speed test, I'll give you a speed test, but I'm not so sure how fast it really is. I haven't done a speed test yet, so. Well, that's how long it takes from the sleep to go to the on. This is usually how long it takes for it to sign on after you've been using it. But once you turn it on, right when you turn it on and you try and sign in, it takes a little bit longer to sign in. Let's use Internet Explorer because that is the browser that it comes with. So let's try and load up, say, YouTube. Ready, set, go. So as you can see, it's pretty fast. Uh, can try one more website. You guys want uh, Facebook, maybe? Okay. So it is pretty fast. Uh, I do really like it. I recommend it a lot. And remember, it only has an Intel Celeron processor. I mean, it has a dual core Celeron, but it only has an Intel Celeron, and it's pretty fast. So imagine what the i3 or i5 in this thing has. Over here, if you click up here, you have the charms, which is like you can go to your start menu, or you have like your settings. And those of you who are wondering, the power button. Like how to turn off is in the settings of the charms. And I guess I have updates to do. So and yeah. And then here's the app store that you can do. Or that I have. Don't know what cocktail flow is. And you can like scroll through it. It does have a multi gesture touchpad. Uh as you can tell, like when I go hang on. When I go like that, it moves. You don't have to like go down to the bar and scroll yourself. It is fairly easy to add a tile to your start screen. So say I wanted, say I have good, oh, go right down here to like see all your programs. Say I wanted to add scan, I can focus on that, scan, and you just click pin to start, and then you will see it pop up right there. I actually don't want it on my start screen. So then you just go right back down to unpin from start. And yeah, guys, that is my review on the Dell Inspiron 15 with an Intel Celeron dual core processor. Thanks for watching, and I do recommend this laptop. Bye.